see the final look with the edges laid. Baby, let me go do my makeup. <laughs> let me put a little something on my edges. Welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be doing some passion twists. So I already, so I already pre-sectioned my hair um, last night just to make it easier for me. So I have um, all my rows already so you get the point. So, yes, I'm going to be doing some passion twists, and I picked up some hair from my local beauty supply store. So they didn't have the free trans water wave. Um, so I had to get some Kima braid water wave hair. I think that is how you pronounce it. Yeah, so Kima Braid Water Wave Crochet here, and I got, I think I got eight packs. Yeah, so I got eight packs. I had to get three packs of a color four, and then I had to get um, five packs of T1B30, so it's ombre at the end with 30. So I'm gonna start off with a braid when I do my um, passion twist. So let's, let's get started. Guys. I'm gonna grease my rolls with this ultra sheen grease. It's for extra dry hair. Uh, and then I'm going to put the shining gem on top. Yes, I already did it. Let's get started. I'm going to put a little bit of this grease with a little bit of shining jam down the length of my hair just to keep my hair moisturized um, and put a little shining jam extra on the ends because my ends spread it up and sometimes it shows through the hair so yeah so I think I'm going to just use two pieces these two pieces so I'm going to make them uneven just one piece make it longer on this side and then the other piece make it longer on the other side like that so then again be long Just have to twist while you're twisting. So these and twisting it, twisting this, then twist, twist. So 
is my first one. It looks pretty good. It's giving me. <laughs> and it comes all the way down to my bottom. So, I think this one looks pretty good. I'm going to do a few more and then I'm going to come back. And I only have the top left. So, yes. Okay. So, I'm 10 hours later. No eyebrows. Let's do. Let's do these last two. This, this is my hair so far. I did a really good job. But I'm, um, yeah. Let's get into texture. Get into it. Okay, so I am all done. I did a very good job. So, yes, middle part, side part. ombre effect and it's so I'm going to get some loose ladies this lady's edges okay I'm gonna use style factor edge control
Okay, so I'm gonna finish my hair up with this Lustrous Pink Glosser, that aloe shea butter, jojoba oil. Um, just make sure hair's shiny. Right, so I'm gonna just let this sit for a few minutes and I'm gonna come back once the edges are laid and maybe a big face. So I will see you in a few moments. Okay guys, so this is a couple hours later and obviously I did my makeup. So let's see the final look with the edges laid. Baby, let me go do my makeup. <laughs> Put a little something on my edges. Okay. So, yes, guys, this is the final look with um, my edges, my edges lay. This is some edges I need to clean up. So yes, guys, I love it. I look so good. Yes, and I'm standing on my tippy toes, but you still can't even see them. It all comes to a little part of my waist. But yes, guys, this is the final look. I love the color. It's like perfect. This is so perfect. So I can wear it in the middle and I part my hair. You can wear it on the side. deep side part if you if you're into that but this is so cute hopefully I can wear this a month because it took me about six hours to do this style which was not that bad and I kept taking breaks I ended up using nine packs of hair so I, I originally bought eight and I ran out and I had to go to the store and get another pack. And um, I took a few pieces from the back because I used two um, pieces per um, twist. Um, so I took some pieces from the back and made them one and used that. Um, Cause I made them all kind of, the parting kind of small, which is what I prefer. But this is so cute. So let me know what you guys think of this hairstyle. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.